When exploring the Wild Kingdom, if you don't look up, you could miss some of the most magnificent and important creatures. Winged animals like birds and bats play a key role in the complex ecologies that connect America's vast landscapes, from the alpine forest and the coastal ranges to the eastern seashore and everything in between. In fact, more than 800 species of birds are found in the U.S., but land development has taken a big bite out of their habitat. When our national bird, the mighty bald eagle, disappeared from the Channel Islands of California, wildlife conservationists swooped in, literally. Things were very different on the islands 30 or so years ago. Yeah, how were they different? DDT decimated and eventually eliminated bald eagle nesting on the Channel Islands. There used to be about 25 or 30 bald eagle nests every really? year on all the Channel Islands. Really? Mm -hmm. But by 1960, they were gone. DDT caused eggshell thinning, and those eggs were not viable. They could not hatch out. And that created an opportunity for golden eagles to come in and nest on the islands, which they had never done. This new predator had a devastating effect on the island's endemic fox, which is found nowhere else in the world. Bald eagles primarily feed on fish, and the goldens that arrive and feed on mammals. Right. The ecosystem was not in balance at that point, and foxes were exactly in that prey size range. The island fox was in big trouble. That's right. They were fully in danger of going extinct. Conservationists from the National Park Service and the Nature Conservancy teamed up to bring balance back to the Channel Islands ecosystem. Biologists managed to carefully trap many of the invading golden eagles and then relocated them back to mainland California. Finally, biologists reintroduced bald eagles back to their island home and let nature do its work. So we're currently zoomed out. If you want to zoom in, you just turn this, okay. and then that's focus. All right, let's see. Hey, wow, that's an eagle nest. It looks like a mound of sticks, but it must be huge. Probably weighs 1,000 pounds. 1,000 pounds. There's a lot of sticks and grass there. <laughs> Obviously, this is proof that the bald eagles have been restored here, but like, where did you start from? It was a long process. To get eagles back to this island, we used a process called hacking. We have these eight by eight foot towers about 15 feet up on telephone poles. We would collect nestling bald eagles about seven, eight weeks old from Northern California and British Columbia, put them into these towers for about a month until they're ready to fly, and then release them from the towers. We started getting natural breeding out here in 2006. And those were the first bald eagles to hatch naturally on the island in probably over 50 years. We actually began the first natural breeding on Catalina Island in 1980. When they started breeding, their eggs would all break in the nest, and they still had huge amounts of DDT. So at that point, we actually started active manipulation of the nest. We used a technique which lovingly became known as the dope on the rope. We'd bring over a helicopter. Uh -huh. I'd have a harness on, hook up to a hook. You. Yep, and then they would lift me off, carry me to the nest. As soon as they laid their eggs, uh -huh replace their eggs with an artificial egg, take those up to the San Francisco Zoo for incubation, and any chicks that hatched from those eggs, we'd bring those chicks back down when they're maybe a week or so old. Wow. Go to the nest, take out the fake eggs, put in the chicks, and then from that point, the adults would just raise them. Oh that was, that was probably gosh. the most exciting portion of the work. Wow. <laughs> so you have literally risked your lives for the <laughs> lives of these bald eagles. Exactly. We now have 23 pairs of bald eagles across five of the eight Channel Islands where there were no breeding birds in 1980. How does that make you feel? It's really nice to see the results of a lot of hard work. Yeah. Bald eagles are a magnificent species. One, just looking at them, you know, they have this bold white head, yellow beak, these whitish eyes. They're huge. They're just amazing to see in the wild. That's Part of why I took on this project was to bring these birds back to where they belonged on the Channel Islands.